Here we're going to look at some of the regions of the human brain and also go over some of the very important functions that these different regions are responsible for. So starting with the brain in general, it's a mass of about 100 billion neurons located inside the skull. And hopefully your brain is a little bit bigger than Homer Simpson's brain does here. This is where learning occurs. And this happens when more and stronger connections are made between neurons that are located in your brain. You may have heard of left brain and right brain people. Left brain typically referring to those uh, good with logic and math. Right brain referring to those that are creative and associated with the arts. Uh, this may have uh, some truth behind it, but there's a lot of interconnections that occur between both your left and right brain. Continuing on, your telencephalon is a region of the brain that's devoted largely to associative activity. The cerebrum, or cerebrum, is about 85% of the weight of the human brain. It's located here in red and highlighted so you can have an idea of just how large it is and also where it's located. This is the dominant part of the brain and receives sensory data and issues motor commands. Uh, the cerebral cortex is the gray outer layer kind of located in this region, functions in language, thought, personality, and other thinking and feeling activities. This uh, cerebrum is also the largest part of the human brain. Now, while it may be divided in different regions, as we see here, such as the frontal lobe, the temporal lobe, uh, the parental lobe, and the occipital lobe, all of these are composed, or all these together make up the cerebrum. This cerebrum and all these different lobes are responsible for thought, language, senses, memory, and voluntary movement. Continuing on, we have the cerebellum, and this is at the base of the brain, located in red here. While it may be a little bit smaller in nature than the um, cerebrum we just talked about, it is responsible for muscle coordination, balance, and posture, all things that are very vital uh, to our day-to-day -day lives. This is a cross-section of how it looks. You can see a lot of folds located in this region. And sometimes you may have heard, hear it referred to as the hindbrain, but we'll refer it to as the cerebellum. Continuing on, we have the brainstem. This connects the brain to the spinal cord, which sounds pretty easy. The brainstem connects brain to spinal cord. However, the brainstem itself also has some very important responsibilities. Again, highlighted here in red, this region is responsible for monitoring and keeping us breathing, our swallowing, our digestion, our heartbeat, and also monitoring and maintaining a healthy blood pressure. Continuing on, we have the cephalon region, and this is composed of the thalamus, which is the relay center between incoming sensory information and the cerebrum, and the hypothalamus, which coordinates nervous and hormonal responses to many internal stimuli, such as body temperature and blood pressure, so on and so forth. Also, emotions. It controls the pituitary gland and its secretion. So we see here's our thalamus, here's our hypothalamus located here, and it's in direct relation to the pituitary gland. So there's a right thalamus and a left thalamus and a hypothalamus. Uh, all of these different regions here are performing very important functions uh, to help us maintain homeostasis. Let me see, it's located just about in that center portion. You see these, the skull here rotates. Again, that red is referring to where the thalamus is. We see where the thalamus is, that hypothalamus is located right in the frontal region there. Just to give you the anatomy of the brain, there's the cerebrum, there's the cerebellum, and there's our brainstem.